this is your base like 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 this box and in this box or in this in this form this is everything that belongs to you that belongs to you and when you uh, admit that you have this 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 base then you will recognize that there are other people <laughs> so them <laughs> And they have as well their own base where they have the right to and responsibility for in their own way. Of course, with their own beliefs, it was their own um, ideologies and uh, with their own thoughts. And so the right and responsibility that belongs to you belongs to anybody else as well. So that means that there is no right or wrong in how people think, how they feel how they believe or whatever they do in self-care and self-love. It's just utterly radical their business as it is your business. And the more you individually can take care of your own business, of your own self-care, the more you probably will admit that everybody has the same right. So you would not put your business in somebody else's business. And when somebody else puts their business in your business, you will notice that. And then you will feel and say something and, and respond. The red line around the box here, this is your boundary. And your boundary is your right and your responsibility to say no and stop. When somebody is interfering in your base and you feeling your boundaries is being crossed, that somebody is poking in there, then you have the right to say no and to say stop. Consent and agreements defining your limits as soon you engage with somebody and want to engage with somebody else. Engagement and the, and the limits, they are literally creating the engagement zones in the somatic consent engagement system. So the, what do you want to do with people? For how long? Who's doing what and when? So every kind of dynamic that comes from your desire how and where you want to engage with people so that this space in between the two bases this is literally what is defining the relationship or if there are no defined limits and consent there is literally very little relationship going on except telepathic agreements or guessing or Maybe there are in family dynamics, you know, where you have been born and growing up into the oppressed beliefs of shoulds and have tos. But the question is, are they all real? Or have we agreed upon them before we could actually speak? Because we needed to belong and to survive in an environment where we had no choice. And we're still in the dynamics of these dependencies. When you see that back here as the base and you bring them two together, so you bring two different bases together in the dynamics of wanting to create an agreement, wanting to create an, a relationship that is meaningful for both of you, you engage in the realms of permission and agreement within your action for them, your action for you, or their action for you, or their action for them. That without the base in place, so that you can say no or stop, or having a right to your limits and your boundaries for your body, your feeling, your desire, whatever's going in there, it probably will be a challenge, difficult or different as if you have a solid base. And the more you actually in connection with yourself, with the inflow, with your feelings, the more solid your base will be.